Welcome back to Living Local. The Quad City Symphony Orchestra is ushering in the Halloween season with a presentation of a true Disney classic, Hocus Pocus. Well, this timeless classic will be projected on the big screen in its entirety with a dark and charming live musical score. And joining us in studio to tell us a little bit more is assistant conductor Hisham Bravo Groover with the Quad City Symphony Orchestra, which is also this segment sponsor. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, it's it's so great. It's been a while too since you've been since you've been on the show. So let's talk about the orchestra and you guys have been presenting films and concerts for seven years. We have. That's a long time. So remind us how these live to film concerts work. Well, it's really a one of a kind of experience uh, for those of you that have uh, never never been been to one. It's not unlike uh, you know going to your local movie theater and enjoying a movie. Um, except the one-of-a-kind aspect of this is having the full symphony orchestra playing the full score of the of the entire film alongside uh, the movie. So it's it's really kind of an opportunity to see how musicians and the film interact with one yeah. another. Yeah, yeah. And, and for someone who may not be familiar with this uh, classic film, tell us a little bit more about it. Well, as as you kind of mentioned, it's, it's Disney's Hocus Pocus from 1993. It's kind of a it is kind of a cult classic at this point. Um, most folks who grew up in that era know it, uh, but for those of you that don't, in short, it's just the story of a teenager from LA who has just moved to Salem, Massachusetts, and he accidentally uh, summons back three witches uh, <laughs> who have been kind of sleeping for 300 years. Uh, and they're out to kind of uh, create a potion of youth, of immortality. Um, and you can imagine the adventures and the chaos that yeah. ensue after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where the orchestra comes in to really make it dramatic, right? Uh, well, and, exactly. And I mean, all the, all the, the, both the tender moments of the movie and the kind of the uh, agitated yeah. and exciting are just enhanced by yeah. the, the soundtrack, uh, John Debney's uh, music. Yeah, for sure. So what do you think that makes these concerts such a special experience? Oof, so many aspects. <laughs> uh, certainly for us, it's kind of the whole the whole package of what we do. It's not just the the film and the and the music, but it's kind of everyone, all the ch children coming dressed up as you know their favorite witch or, or the cat or whomever may be, and uh, the pre-concert activities that we have. I know we'll chat a little bit about yeah. that later. It's just. Uh, a really again one of a kind experience that, that yeah. is unlike anything unlike going to your movie theater right right definitely so give us the details on when and where this concert will take place this concerts uh, on Saturday October 26 it's a one-time showing at 7 30 p.m. at okay. the Adler theater in downtown Davenport okay and and like you said this is really a family friendly event there's popcorn concessions available what else would you say that makes these concerts a great way to kind of introduce people who have never been, or even the, the youngsters who come and, 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 and see this in person? Well, it's so immersive and engaging, especially for children. Of course, it's, it's a Disney movie, so there's that aspect yeah. of it. But for them to just be uh, visually kind of engaged the movie, but also right below the, the screen to see the full orchestra yeah. playing, and again, to see how the musicians interact with that, it's... Um, Really eye-opening for I think for many kids to know that there's an actual orchestra that records the music yeah. to 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 these films that yeah. they watch. So and so then when they do go to a regular movie theater, they you have know, that in mind. They have that in mind, and they, they really pay attention, I think, and listen for that. Exactly, but it, it also in our in our case, you know, to for example, so there are some beautiful piano melodies that occur in Hocus Pocus, and to see the pianist themselves playing that is is, yeah. is just makes it a little bit more uh, of a. Uh, connected uh, right. experience. For sure. In addition to the actual concert, the QCSO is also offering a pre-concert trick-or-treat experience. I love this. So give us the details and what folks can expect. Well, that'll be happening in the lobby uh, that's connected on the River Center Plaza there um, okay. beforehand. So around 5.30 p.m. is when this starts. And our community partners, uh, the Putnam, the Figgy, uh, the Quad Cities Botanical Center will be there kind of uh, doing trick-or-treating and some other activities. There will be face painting, uh, of course, kids dressed up. It's just going to be yeah. a, a ruckus of fun, essentially. I love that. And where can people get tickets for the Hocus Pocus concert and for this experience? I would recommend going to our website uh, at qcso.org okay. to find tickets. Of course, we will also have tickets at the door uh, uh, at the box office there. Okay. So. And, you know, these tickets are really affordable, too. Yes. I mean, 
yeah, you know, I, compared to, you know, going to a regular theater. But, th you know, you get so much more out of this. You do get so much more. It, it, like I mentioned earlier, it's really an immersive and shared experience because you're with all these other folks who yeah. are just so excited to see uh, the 1993 film come yeah. back to life. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Well, it has been a, a, a real pleasure. Thank you so much, Hisham, for coming in today. Brandy, thank you so much for having us. And for more information, you can visit QCSO.org. We'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.